Hey everybody, Jonathan Lawrence here. I was in a conversation today with some other filmmakers and I asked them if they prefer short lenses or long lenses. And most of them preferred long lenses and then I asked them why. And the reason they gave was that long lenses have a more shallow depth of field than wide angle lenses. So I went out to the backyard with my camera and uh, a subject, my hat, and ran some tests. Uh, I think you will be surprised by the findings, so let's take a look. So this is a really, really super simple test. Uh, I've got a 28 millimeter lens here and you can see uh, what I'm getting. Don't mind the colors. I didn't really color grade this or anything like that. This is just for the test. And here's the 90 millimeter lens, also at f2.8 and about the same frame size, which is the only way to do a fair comparison on focal length and depth of field. Okay, so the hat is the same distance from the tree and the wall. The hat is the same size in the frame on both lenses. The aperture is the same on both lenses at 2.8. The only thing that's different is that the distance from the hat and the lens has changed. Now look again at the tree and the fence. The depth of field is practically the same. Now it may not look like it at first, uh, but we are going to take a closer look at what I'm talking about here. On a side-by-side -side comparison, yes, it does seem that the hat on the right, the 90 millimeter, does have more shallow depth of field. Okay, I, I admit that. It looks like it right off the bat. And if you look at the hat on the left, uh, yes, we have shallow depth of field, which some people say you can't get with a wide-angle lens. Ta-da! But uh, let's look closer at the hat on the left, the 28 millimeter. On the 28 millimeter, there's a lot going on in the frame. You see a lot more field of view, a lot more uh, uh, width in the background, more detail in the background. It could be distracting, especially if it weren't soft background um, at all, but you can see it is a soft background. And if this were a well-composed frame, there would be things in that background that uh, contribute to the story. This might be a good lens to choose if uh, somebody is standing close to the hat and they're about to pick it up or they're about to set it down um, and, and you want to kind of get that feeling of immediacy and that you are right in the middle of the action. Uh, but we're not talking about that today. We are talking about depth of field. So let's now take a look at the 90 millimeter. Okay, so right off the bat, this isolates the hat a lot more. Just the hat, you're really not paying attention to the background. I can certainly see the, the, uh, the, I, the reason for using a lens like this, and I've used this lens a lot. I love this lens. But the, and the background does appear to be more out of focus because our, my focus is now directly on just the hat. This is a great purpose for longer lenses, but the depth of field is not that much greater than on the 28 millimeter. Let's look closer. I've cropped in considerably in Photoshop, but as you know, that will not change the depth of field captured at the time of the uh, shooting or image gathering, I guess, in this day and age. Um, so take a look at the tree and the wall, and I'm going to highlight an area here that I specifically want you to look at. Now, remember, nothing has changed except the 90 millimeter camera lens is further away from the hat than the 28 millimeter. The tree is the same distance from the hat, one foot away, and the wall in the background is about 15 feet away from the tree. So the only thing that has changed uh, in the full shots is the field of view. You can see the tree bark on both uh, images is actually the same. There is no difference really in the softness, the depth of field. And the wall uh, on the 90 millimeter does certainly look ever so slightly softer but not enough to maintain the argument that longer lenses are shallower than shorter lenses. I understand the myth, okay? I believed the myth for a lot of years until somebody showed me what I just showed you. It's important that we understand our lenses and our equipment, that we have to understand what they can do for us, what their limitations are. I think a healthier argument than the depth of field argument is uh, how, how the intrinsic value of uh, long lenses versus short lenses help us as storytellers and what if they convey what we want to say to our audience. Hopefully this information has been useful to you. I'm Jonathan Lawrence. You can check my stuff out at directorlawrence.com or at vimeo.com slash my work.